Let's take a look at evaluating functions uh, using the table method on a T84 plus calculator. First one we'll take a look at is f of x equal 3x minus 4, and we want to find f of 2. And I'm going to go to my y equals, and I'll put in 3x minus 4. Ah, try that again. 3x minus 4. There we go. Okay, now you have to set up your table um, for the first time. So I'm going to do a second window to go into table setup. So second window. And see where it says independent? Independent when you turn uh, when you're, everything's in terms of the x's and y's like this. Your independent variable is your x. And we want to change that to ask. So I down arrow to that line. I'm on a right arrow, put my flashing cursor on the ask, and press enter one time. You should see the highlighting now on the ask. Now you don't have to do this. Um, uh, it stays this way from now on. So this is the only time you'll have to do that part. Okay. So remember we put this on y1, 3x minus 4. Let's now go to our table. So we'll do second graph. And you see you got a blank table here. It's waiting for us to input values. So if I put 2 in, then um, f of that f of 2 is equal to 2. Now if I put 2 in here, if you think of it doing it by hand, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2. So that would be our answer. Let me actually write this down. Okay, f of x is equal to 3x minus 4, and we just said that f of 2 is equal to 2 via the calculator. Okay, let's look at our second one. We got, um, that was our first one. Our second one is f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over x plus 3. And we want to find f of 7. Now remember on your calculator, anytime you got more than a single single number or single variable on top or bottom of your fraction, uh, the trick to, to it is uh, to put parentheses around that part. Well, we have to put parentheses around the part, top part, we have to put parentheses around the bottom part. So let's go enter this in. So I'm going to go to y equals, clear, do a beginning parentheses, the x key, x squared, minus 4, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, x plus 3, and closing parentheses. So again, parentheses are on the top part, parentheses are on the bottom part. Well, now if I go to my table, I do second graph. You see 2 is already there. Um, you can just override it by putting 7 in and pressing enter, or if you want to clean those out, you just press delete and it cleans them out. Um, for If you have 5 entries, you'd have to press delete 5 times. Now if I put 7 in and press enter, then my answer is 4.5. Now this one um, is not too complex of a one. 4.5. I could um, do that by hand, uh, you know, change that to a fraction. Uh, but that is the uh, problem with the table method is that you get decimal approximations. We'll see a better way with the T84 Plus to evaluate functions in the table method. I'm going to exit out. And just to show you, you can use your calculator to switch this one, but you can't do it all the time. If I do 4.5, to change a decimal to a fraction, we always do math, enter, enter. So do math, enter, enter. And we see that our answer is actually 9 halves. And that's evaluating um, functions uh, using the uh, table method on a T84 plus calculator.